Hey everybody, it's Charlie, I hope you're well. So today is the 6th of December, I think. Yeah, it's the 6th of December. Um, and my family have gone off to my nephew's third birthday party thing. Um, and I was supposed to go with them, but I woke up this morning, I don't know if you can hear, but I have got the crappiest cold and I feel like absolute rubbish. My throat is just killing me. Um, and obviously I didn't want to go and pass it on to everybody, particularly because there's going to be a lot of little kids there and I didn't want to give it to them. Um, so I just sat here about to watch a film uh, on my Apple TV. I'll show you. I was about to watch this. Um, it's called Finders Keepers. Um, something to do with a family that had been murdered and they haunt the house they were murdered in or something. I don't know. Um, so I was sitting here just about to watch this and I thought that I should do a little um, catch up video with you because obviously the last time we spoke it wasn't on the happiest of terms, um, if that's the right way to put it and I want to do this whole video without crying so <sighs> deep breath. Okay so um the thing, first thing that I wanted to start with um, is to say thank you. Um, the response I've had from you guys since my granddad got ill, but ill, ill, I mean, but primarily since I put up my last video where I told you about him having passed away, um, has been overwhelming i i can't i still can't get my head around i mean i've had over 50 messages from you guys that is insane absolutely insane um in a good way obviously um i honestly this channel is one of the best things that i've ever done the I'm I'm so lucky to have you guys as my subscribers and i'm not just saying that to try and suck up to you I actually mean it, um, and you have really helped me, you know, keep strong and keep going through this time, and, you know, I've had messages from you saying how, you know, you're my YouTube family now, and if, if I need anything, I can talk to you, and all that kind of stuff, and it just means the world, it means the world, even my, my family have even read some of your comments as well, and, they are just so just amazed by your kindness. Um, and they actually asked me the next time I film, which is why I wanted to do this as well, to say thank you to you all um, for being so um, for being so supportive. Even though, you know, some of you have, like, not even met me. You've None of you have met my family. And you've still been so kind so from the bottom of my heart and from my family's thank you um we i should say that we are all right um let me just change my arm my arm's going to sleep um i should say that um we're okay as you can imagine the first, i mean it's not even been a week yet so it's still kind of raw as you can imagine um but compared to the first couple of days I mean, I, I don't think I've ever cried as much as I did in the first couple of days of this happening. It's just that immediate thought of, I'm not going to see that person ever again. Like, I, I still don't know if that has sunk in fully yet, but it's just that immediate thought. Um, but now I have had a few days, I mean, I couldn't, I, I just felt sick, like, all the time for the first couple of days. I found it really hard to eat, I couldn't sleep properly. Um, but now I've had, uh, you know, a few more days to kind of, to process it. I kind of look at it now and I think, as I said to you guys in my last video, you know, he was so ill this year, like, so ill, so much pain for most of the year. And, you know, he was losing everything that my granddad used to be. And he hated it. He hated it so much, as you can imagine. Because 
you know, before he went into the hospital for, for the last time, he he couldn't do things for himself. And my granddad was one of these people that likes, liked to be able to do things for himself. He hated people doing things for him. And he just couldn't. He used to go out and travel around on the buses with his bus pass everywhere. And he couldn't do any of that anymore. And that broke his heart. It it really did. And he would get so angry and so frustrated. Um, and then there was things like towards the end before the last time we went into hospital. We would go and get him shopping. And the next time we'd come he wouldn't have eaten anything. Because he just felt so unwell. And when I look at the bigger picture like that. However much I know that I'm going to miss him every day. I know that I wouldn't have wanted him to be in pain any longer. And so part of me is, ha happy is the wrong word, but relieved that he doesn't have to go through that anymore. Um, and we don't have to go through, like, every time the phone rings thinking, oh my God, like, what has happened to him now? Like... You know, what What else is he going to have to go through? We, we don't have to think like that anymore. We know now that he's at peace and he doesn't have to go through all that. Um, and as the days are going on, we're thinking about that more than the selfish side of us wanting him to stay, if that makes sense. Um, so the last, you know, days few days since it's happened um we've been so busy it's just pretty much just been like sorting out his paperwork and you know ringing the places that he paid his bills to and that kind of stuff sorting all that out um we on monday my mum and dad ha have got a meeting with the funeral uh directors um, and then his funeral is either going to be at the end of next week or it will be the week after. Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to that. I'm I mean I'm hoping that my anxiety will let me go. I'm just not sure I can cope with seeing him in a box. I think I'd rather just remember him how he was. So that remains to be seen how how that how that's going to go. Um, but I think to be honest, we'll all be really glad when that is is over really um just because i think once all that is done then you've got you you're able to sit down and just have some time to think about it properly if that if that makes sense um so yeah i think that's the last thing we need to do really and then all his stuff is kind of sorted out um we, at first, are, like, my immediate thought, because obviously with it being Christmas now, you know, the year for being with your family and stuff, it's, as you can imagine, made it that little bit harder. Um, but we have decided as a family that we're going to go on as normal. We're going to celebrate Christmas because he would want, I mean, he hated Christmas. So he's probably up there laughing that he's managed to get out of it, to be fair. Um... But he wouldn't want us not to go on with it. Um, so we're going to go on with Christmas as normal. And we're going to just dedicate it to him. Um, talking Christmas, I should show you my Christmas tree. Because I didn't get to show it to you properly last time. So I'm going to turn you around. And I hope you're going to be able to see this. I'm filming this on my iPhone. So I don't know how good this is is going to be. But this is our tree i kind of went a little bit overboard with the tinsel this year um and we found some we've we've had like the same decorations for like ages and this year we found some like really really nice ones my my dad my mum got a special one for my granddad um to put on the tree to kind of remember him by um so yeah, we're we're carrying on with that. Um and what else did I want to update you on? I don't know really. Um I think really to be honest that was all I I wanted to say. Um 
I am, um, in terms of filming, um, because my granddad always said to me, you need to do in life what makes you happy. And this channel and filming videos makes me happy. So I'm going to be trying to start filming some Christmassy videos now. Um, I don't know, obviously, with the funeral stuff. I don't know what will be happening next week. Um, but we'll just see about that. Obviously, I know you guys will understand with, with something like that happening. Um, but I will be trying to film as regularly as I can. Um, what else? To be honest, um, I haven't been doing much reading. Um, in fact, I haven't read a book now in like, probably about two weeks, I think. Um, and I'm missing it, desperately missing it. So I have got, I don't know if you can see down here, but I've got this big pile of books here. So I'm going to be trying to choose something to read out of them. Um, I try to read a romancy book. Just, you know, as kind of something... Um, um, just kind of as something a bit sort of light. Um, but I couldn't. I just... I don't do slushy romances. I, I It's just not happening. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and choose one out of these books. Um tonight and um yeah i think that's really all i wanted to <coughs> say um so i think i'm gonna go now because i think i'm gonna start coughing and i don't want to cough and splutter all over you guys all over you i say that like you're sitting in front of me but you know what i mean um so again thank you very much for your support by the way yes i am laying down um i'm <laughs> being I'm being lazy, but, um, yeah, I hope that you're all doing okay, um, and as I say, I hope that I will see you all again very, very soon, so thank you for watching this video, thank you again for your support, we really, really appreciate it, so, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon, bye!